filming this video the same day that I filmed my January loot gaming video, even though it is going to be posted in a little while in advance, because that video was filmed late and this video is being filmed on time. Like, as I'm filming this video, I received this package in the mail today. Anyway, Loot Crate does this sometimes, especially with loot where it's happened to me before, back in December with the doc- or no, back in November with the Doctor Strange Christmas sweater shirt. They had an error in production and they had to postpone when- they had to like do reprints and postpone when the package was shipped. Um, in this case, which is a little spoiler alert, spoiler alert, I guess, this was their first time doing a zip up hoodie. So, they needed some extra time to make that happen. So we have our loot wear. It doesn't say loot wear on this side, it says loot wear on the other side. But my address label is on that side, so sticking to this side. Yeah, it was Loot Crate's first time, Loot Wear's first time doing a zip up hoodie. So it ended up taking more time in production and I just received this package today as you're viewing this video. Um, yeah. Well, maybe not as you're viewing this video. You'll probably be viewing this video in a couple days, but while I'm filming this video, I just got this package before I filmed the last video that I filmed today. Yeah, I also got the loot t-shirt, which I loved so much. I wore it already, and I actually am not sure where it has gotten to. Um, it's probably somewhere with my other laundry or dirty laundry or something um yeah i that day that i went with casey the day my loot gaming box came to the house i wore my loot wear shirt because i loved it so much and i felt like wearing it and now i don't have it here to show you guys but this so this is just going to be a video for the socks and wearable bundle. They now do a bundle where you can do bundle with like the undies and stuff like that and I really want the loot undies because they look really comfortable and boys underwear is more comfortable than girls underwear and you know if I have the money for it maybe I'll do it eventually because I really want to and I'm really sad I didn't get loot wear this month. This month is for the month of February. I'll only be getting the t-shirt. I get the t-shirt every single month and don't necessarily get everything else every single month. I am starting to have a bit too much, too many socks, so that's okay, but like, I hate missing out on the wearable. Ugh. Yeah, let's just take everything out and get this video started. Okay, so that's everything. Yeah, so we have this little book for loot wear, I guess. Lootware used to do cards and now does booklets, and Loot Gaming used to do booklets and now does posters. Um, the theme was Origins, featuring characters, apparel from Dungeons and Dragons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Superman, Fantastic Beast, and Steven Universe. Got this little booklet. We'll look at that at the end when we do our parsing and add up. But here is what took us so long, is this Dungeons and Dragons hoodie. Um, it is a loot wear limited edition Dungeon and Dragons men's medium hoodie, and it's like a t-shirt hoodie. I did not play Dungeon and Dragons. My really good friend Josh really enjoys Dungeon and Dragons, so I may pass this off to him, but I like it because it's very thin. It's a very thin hoodie. Like, it's super thin. And then it has this one red one over here. That's really cool. Um, it's like a t-shirt hoodie. And I like that, being where I'm from. It's always pretty hot. So regular hoodies aren't a thing that gets worn a lot. This zipper is made really not that great. Um, okay. It's a little big. I always roll up my sleeves on my jackets anyway because like I said it never really gets that cold. Um, 
Okay. So here it is. Our Dungeon and Dragons hoodie. Our strings are a little uneven. Um, I'll need to work with that. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's nice. It's thin. Um, I wish that the colors were a little bit, like, fainter so it wasn't so all over print sort of in your face. I don't know. It's not bad though. I like it. I'm going to leave it on for the remainder of the video. Um, and then I came with this 20 sided ice dice mold, which was a 20 sided dice ice mold, which was an item in one of their boxes a while ago, back in like 2015 or 2016. So I don't know why they're sending us this. If they're sending us a free gift because of the delay, or because it goes with Dungeon and Dragons, or because they have extras and they're trying to get rid of them. I do not know. But this is really cool. I like this a lot. I'm going to give this to my mom and let her use it for whatever she wants. Yeah, that's cool. It's squishy. And it just opens up and then you have like your dice on the inside. That's neat. That's really cool. Okay. Then lastly, actually this is probably lastly, but what I'm going over last is our socks. It doesn't seem like we got a pair of athletic socks this month. It seems like we just got two pairs of crew socks, which isn't that bad. They're thin and they're nice. And I really don't like Superman, but I like these socks a lot. Neato. Loot wear exclusive crew socks crew bio world i like these i like these a lot actually um and then we have super mario bros crew socks we have the piranha plant looking like that loot wear exclusive once again we have our shoe size 10 to 13 no wonder their socks are too big for me man they always send big socks. I don't wear a size 10. I wear a size... What? Hang on a second. What the heck? Sock sizes 10 to 13 is men's shoe size 8 to 12. I should have a men's sock size 9 to 11, which fits a 5 to 8, because I wear a 7.5 in men's shoes. So their socks are always pretty big for me. Um... But I do wear them when I need them, like when I have to, when I worked a job where I had to, you know, or when it's cold. Two pairs of nice socks. I like these socks a lot. I think it's really ironic that these came today because... I think it's really ironic that these came today because of the fact that I was sitting here and I was thinking about it and I was like, are my loot, is my loot wear ever going to come? Like, are they going to refund us or are they going to send it to us or how is this going to work? And I did, I had no idea, but here it is. Um, quick pricing and add up. Um, I pay $20 for this package. So we have our socks, which are typically... $10 for two socks, so we have five and we have five, so there's $10, we have $15 for our wearable, which we can easily, so that means five and five, so that prices the wearable at $10, so we save $5. I definitely think you can price this wearable between $12 and $15. It's a nice hoodie. Um, I wish that this part maybe came up a little bit higher and that the zipper was a little bit of better quality but those are just really picky details like it's definitely comfortable um and I definitely think I'll be holding on to it because it's thin and it's always hot here so on days that it's a little bit cooler it'll be a nice thing to have um yeah I'm really satisfied oh and the fact that they sent us this gift I'm gonna that adds five dollars to it so we're getting a thirty dollar value for a fifty a $30 value for a $20 package because that's shipping included and I'm really happy about that yeah so we had our exclusive Dungeons and Dragons zip hoodie you'll be a critical hit at your next tabletop session in our first ever zip hoodie by Lootwear this is all over ampersand print 
Adds plus 10 charisma to anyone lucky enough to wear it. Probably. Exclusive Mario 8-Bit Piranha Plant Socks. Celebrate the origins of modern gaming by, by sporting... I cannot read. By sporting this 8-Bit with bite... This is the classic Mario Piranha Plant will protect your toes one pixel at a time. Exclusive Superman Socks. Okay, I'm not going to read that one. You get the point. Um, yeah. And then here's the people wearing it. That's about it for this video of Lootware, the theme being Origins. We have our first ever zip up hoodie. And now I have to rate this package. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. The value was excellent. I love the socks. I like, I kind of like that neither of them are athletic socks. It means that they're more comfortable and softer and better for this, for our weather here. Also, these Superman ones are smaller than the Piranha Plant ones. I don't know why that is, but that's okay. I'm just rambling now. Great value. We had our socks we had our hoodie the only reason i rated it a little bit lower is because with the delay and everything i feel like this hoodie should have been a little bit of better quality maybe even if it was just with the zipper like it's not the best quality thing that loot crate loot wear has ever sent me before so yeah 4.5 still a great package i love loot wear i'm really sad that i don't get to do it this month because loot wear is my favorite thing like honestly out of all of them because I even if I don't use everything from the boxes I always wear the things given to me from loot wear like I always wear everything like I find a use for the socks I always wear the t-shirt the t-shirt always gets worn so I'm really sad I hope that I can find it online somewhere because I really want like the wearable and the socks yeah that's about it for this video That's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe. Um, I'm going to put the link to my January loot gaming video in the description below. Please subscribe for February loot gaming, February and March core crate. And that's about all I can think of for right now that you're subscribing for. But it would mean a lot to me. I'm still really trying to get to 100. I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten there yet. Um, but I'm trying to be more consistent. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later.